Developers of the deadly construction site, where a building collapsed in George, Western Cape, have seemingly vanished as public pressure for answers mounts, amid allegations of poor workmanship at the site. Carol Swanepoel, owner of Pacific Breeze Trading 91, a subsidiary of Neo Trend Group, and contractor Thunis Kruger, the owner of Liatel Developments, have taken down their company pages from the internet, while estate agent Ronel van der Walt, who was advertising the luxury apartments under construction, claimed she did not know where they were. Non-contracted bricklayers and sand mixers were hired on the spot every day at the site and paid in cash on a weekly basis at a rate of just over 80 rands per day, or just over 10 rands per hour, which is far lower than the 3,500 rands South African minimum wage threshold. Rescue workers and other role players have been on site for 163 hours. The confirmed statistics for the incident are total estimated individuals on site when the incident occurred 81, rescued and recovered 53 of which deceased 24 currently hospitalized 13, unaccounted for 28. Florence Kawanga was employed as a cleaner and was soon given the duties of mixing cement and carrying bricks. This friendly and bubbly 19-year-old youngster is one of the people still unaccounted for.